we're given the following present value random variable for an annuity on age x. So the first case, this is a 10 year term annuity. And the second case is a whole life annuity that depends when the person is dead. So the first case will pay whether or not the person is dead or alive. The second one will pay only if the person is alive. So let's say if the person dies when the time of death is less than 10, then there's still going to be 10 payments. Now if the person dies when the time of death is greater than 10, there's going to be 10 payments plus the number of years the person is alive. So if you look at the minimum payments, well the minimum payments is obviously 10. All right, so now let's look at these. So answer choice A, there's a 10 year term annuity. Well, if we just had this, this is a 10 year term annuity. But we also have the second part. So we also have this. So that does not make it a 10 year term annuity. Part B says a 10 year guaranteed annuity. Well, as illustrated here, we know that's gonna be a, at least 10 payments. So we're guaranteed at least 10 payments. So the answer choice is B. For C, a 10 year deferred annuity, well, that would have to be this. So there'll be no payment for the first 10 years and then you would have a payment until death. So it's really the second part of this piecewise function. So that can't be it. A 10 year reversion, uh, reversionary annuity, well that depends on two people. So that's done. We only have one person here and we definitely don't have a family. So that's not it. So the answer choice is B.